I don't watch Nigerian movies. <laughs> Nollywood, God forbid. Ha! Brother, sister, brethren, don't you think you are doing too much? Eh? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with watching foreign movies and enjoying them. And I love, I enjoy, I don't know, but call me a local girl. Yes. <laughs> I'm not disputing the fact that there are some movies that are not really good, you know. I'm sorry to say, but then we still have amazing, beautiful, superb movies with beautiful stories, amazing lessons to learn. And it breaks my heart whenever I hear my fellow Nigerians condemning Nigerian movies. To be honest, it's not personal, but then it's not pleasant okay so this is not the bone of contention right now because i am here to review the movie the masterpiece Fumi Layo ransom kuti if you haven't seen this movie guys what are you waiting for well this video should prompt you to watch the movie even if you've watched it let me know your thoughts your views in the comment section i would love to hear from you too okay so sit back relax and enjoy this video So Fumilayo Ransom Kuti is a biopic film that tells the story of Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. Um, that is Fela's mother, a Nigerian activist who fought for women's rights and equality in the early 20th century. The film is directed by Bolanle Austin Pisas and it has a cast of amazing people including Joker Silva, Kende Bankole and Ibrahim Suleiman. The film is a masterpiece and it brings Fumilayo's remarkable life to the silver screen. I was so happy when I even saw um, Fela's children. With brilliant storytelling, unique characters and impeccable craftsmanship, the cast delivered groundbreaking performances that captivated the audience from start to to finish. This film is a powerful depiction of women empowerment. Fumilayo was a trailblazer in many aspects during her days and the film does justice to her legacy. It also explores the themes of education, social justice, highlighting Fumilayo's confrontation with the tax collectors and her formation of the Abe Okuta women's club it also gives an insight on how far a woman can go when she's determined to achieve a certain result um, we could also see that the support and love of a good partner can make you do exploits that's um, Fumilayo's husband he gave her total support and that also helped her in carrying on with her dreams okay also the use of both english and yoruba languages added depth to the storytelling capturing the cultural and historical values of abe okuta at that time it has three major themes the theme of love power and support we could see the strength arising from the women uniting to fight injustice okay so i have three major things that stood out for me and i'll quickly say them um the first one is the amazing performances by all the actors especially kende bankole the young Fumilayo. it was my first time seeing her play a heroic role like that and she really did so well everyone else did well too secondly the cinematography is beautiful the color gradients and effect of the olden days era was quite good lastly what stood out for me again is the costumes ken day's costumes were so gorgeous and classy and that of the women club was so gorgeous and the way they carried themselves in those costumes was so elegant and graceful above all it's a great movie and i'll give it an 8 over 10 
and i recommend okay let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section your views your take about the masterpiece formula your ransom kuti and that brings us to the end of this video i'll see you next week in the next movie review video okay